Hi, welcome to another installment of Theming 101. Um, someone requested a video explaining HTML usage on lock screen, so I thought I'd do a little tutorial on basic usage of um, HTML in theming. And I'm not a HTML master or anything, so I won't and can't go into great detail here, but if you want to do something more advanced, then you're going to have to look into learning HTML. So here, um, I'm going to basically show you a simple things you can do, a simple thing you can do with HTML. Um, so I'll show you how to create a wallpaper for your springboard or lock, sp lock screen. Uh, that transi transitions into different pictures. So I guess if you can't decide on a picture to use as your wallpaper, then you can have a few of them that, and it just kind of rotates the pictures. You can also do a bunch of advanced things like create widgets and fancy stuff like that, but obviously that's not for a theming 101, so we'll just look into something simple. So the first thing you need is to create a folder um, depending on if you want to do a lock background or a wallpaper background uh, what do you call it a springboard background if you want to do both or just one it's gonna be the same thing for both you're just gonna name them different so uh, if you want a wallpaper one you're going to name the file wallpaper.html. If you want the lock screen, you're going to name it lockbackground.html. So let's just take a look at one. Inside the your folder that you're going to make, you're going to name it whatever you want dot theme. Inside that, you're going to have private a folder named private and in there you're going to put all the pictures that you want to show up and in my case I just named them wallpaper 1, wallpaper 2, etc, etc and then you're going to open up a notepad And you're going to need all this jibber jabber in there. So, if you don't want to copy this all down from this video, you can go to the blog and I will copy this into the blog so you can just copy and paste it. <clears throat> from here, there isn't much you need to edit out other than if you do not name your pictures wallpaper 1, 2, 3, etc., you need to come in here and edit these and put whatever your pictures are named and obviously if you don't have up to six or you have more than six you will need to add or delete those um, another edit you can do is right here set timeout fade you can change that you can do this is going to be five seconds so if you want it more or less just change the five to whatever uh, another little thing, if you want the actual transition to be longer or shorter, I have it at 5 seconds, you can change that as well. I'm sure there's other things you can do in here if you know a little bit more HTML, but we won't go into that. So, as you can see, it's pretty basic, but um, it will be pretty cool on your phone. In, uh, once you have this into your notepad, you want to save it as... <clears throat> you want to save it as lockbackground.html. If you want it to be your wallpaper, then instead of naming it lockbackground, you will name it wallpaper.html. Once you have those folders made, you just need to come into your bar stash 
themes folder and you just need to grab these and dump them in the themes folder. Once you've put those in the theme folder you come into winter board select themes and you'll find the ones you have and you just activate them and it will respring. So you can see on the lock screen that now you've got the transitioning pictures and if we look at our home screen we also have the same thing. So that's one little simple thing you can do with your with HTML. So hopefully this is what uh, Tech Marine 1992 was looking for. If not, uh, comment and let me know exactly what you wanted to take a look at and we'll check it out. So just a quick little video showing another little thing you can add to your themes and hopefully it was helpful for you. Okay, bye. With all due respect, John, I am head of IT and I have it on good authority. If you type Google into Google, you can break the internet.